Okay, how to remove uh, the brake drum on a Ford 801 tractor. Okay, uh, you wanna make sure you got gloves on. First thing, and then uh, this is a simple video on the Ford tractor, okay? I think a lot of people are gonna be watching this one because they got Ford tractors and uh, I spent a day trying to figure it out. Okay, I'm gonna have to replace the studs and bear with me, uh, my front camera is no good, so I'm doing this uh, with the, uh, you know, the other camera. But uh, notice how you got uh, eight lug nuts right there. Two, four, six, eight. Okay. There's one right here. But anyways, I had to do this job in place. Okay. I had to tear this thing apart in place. Now. First thing you want to make sure is you have, I got it jacked up in the back right here. I had to do this job right in place and you're gonna find out why here in a minute. And I also got it, the main support is right there with the cinder blocks. And I got some more over there. And uh, I hope this is recording right. Okay, I got some more over there. And uh, this tire weighs about at least 200 pounds. So I would put it on the ground, but I, I don't I have a hard time picking it up. But anyways, the way you remove oh let me show you look at these uh studs right here this is what holds the wheel on that, that keep you know the tire and if you look right here my studs broke so you know when i came to uh do a visual on it it uh it was only being held on by two studs and it looks like you see that stud right there you see the you see the, the the lip right here okay that's a grade 8 bolt okay look at that see that hub that's what holds it on the other side and this one here looks like it was shaved off put on a grinder on a grinding bench grinding wheel it's kind of like pressed in but anyways the way you remove the stud let me take these out of the way they all broke look at that so I got new replacements Okay, and the way you get the, the drum off, there's two screws right here. See that? One, I get the other one. See that screw right there? That holds that holds the drum on. I hope I'm getting that. I can't really see. That's what holds the drum on. Let me take it off. Okay. And that's the drum, the brake drum. At first, I thought it had, uh, you know, the brake shoes dug into the uh, dug into the brake drum and created a lip. Now there is a lip on here; you can see it. Well, not much of a lip. Not much of a lip on there. Very slight one. But anyways, so I got the drum off, and this thing's pretty hot. Now the only problem I have is I can't get the. Uh, um, you know, I got all I got enough for it to get through all the studs, right? But uh I can't get all the studs. Can't get these suckers out. I wanted to change them all. Cause uh you never know, he might have whoever had this before might have over torqued them. But see, it doesn't come out. Normally on a car you'd be able to there's a location on this uh on this hub assembly to where you could, you know, change these things out. But uh, anyways, I gotta go. I got the shop manual at the house. But my main objective coming out here today was just figuring out how to get that brake drum off. And it was covered up, you know, these uh, machine bolts right here, or not even machine bolts, wood screws, or counter sink, uh, machine type screws were put on there almost looks like it, this was an aftermarket job because the new I was gonna get a new brake drum and it didn't have the extra holes in it right there. And I'm like, man, it didn't match up. So it might've been done in someone's garage. But anyways, I might have to take that whole assembly off or loosen it to be able to get these off, okay? And when you get this tractor up in the air, shake the daylights out of it. You don't want that thing falling on you. If it falls on you, it's over. Your farming days are over.
you that. Make sure, don't be afraid to move it around. You want that thing to fall. Imagine if it would have fallen on me with only two studs in a turn. Could have got chopped up by that thing right there. Anyways, stay safe. Sure is hot, about 100 degrees. See y'all later.